Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gabe and this is Games with Gabe. This is kind of an unprecedented video, but I'm releasing it because I think that it would be good for you guys to see how I go about debugging things. So I've released a couple videos in the past talking about how I debug stuff, but I'm just gonna walk you guys right through the process of me debugging uh, some code that I got a comment about. And I want to show you exactly how I fix it. So I have not seen this problem firsthand. I don't know what the problem is. I'm just gonna take you through step-by-step step what I do when I encounter a problem in general. So when I run this code, you'll see that I get this black square, which the problem is it shouldn't be black. It should have some colors, okay? So my first step whenever I'm debugging is to clearly go to the offending code. So first of all, what I would do is I would go into the shaders because this is clearly a shader problem. And then I would just change this real quick to like a weird color. This way I can make sure that it's not the shader that's the problem. So if I do this, okay, we get a pink color. So it's clearly not the shader, it's something else. And so the next place I would check is this F color. So where's this F color coming from? Well, that's coming in from this vertex shader. So then if we look at this, this vertex shader says F color is equal to A color. Where's A color coming from? Well, that's coming from a vertex attribute at location one. So this is where I need to look now because this is most likely where the problem is. So now I'll go into the render, which is where I'm guessing the code is, maybe not. Let's go instead into the level scene or the level editor scene. Okay, so this is where we, we should find the problem if it is here. Okay, so we see that we have all the colors defined here. Um, and if you've watched my tutorials, this is a lot of the code is similar to my tutorial. So Clearly I should have some advantage when debugging, but this is how I would go about it if it was a problem in my own code anyways. Okay, so now we think it's vertex, it's the attribute one that we're having a problem with. So right down here, we see that we've got attribute one and we say that this is the color size. If I just control click over this, this says that that is the number four so that we know exactly what's going in there. So that's four. And then vertex size and bytes is position size plus color size. Well, position size is three. So that's three plus four, seven times float size bytes. And uh, if we look at what float size bytes is, that's four. Okay, so that's all perfectly fine. Then if we look in here, the pointer is position size times vertex size bytes. Okay, so all of this looks perfectly fine. This should work exactly as we would think it would. And if we look at the vertex attribute pointer zero, that looks good too, nothing wrong there. Let's see how we're uploading the data. So this is my next, of course, place I would check because maybe it's not uploading the data properly. So we create the VBO, we buffer the VBO ID. So we create a buffer on the GPU, then we buffer the data. And it says we're buffering the vertex buffer, which we create right here. And it says this is created using the vertex raise length. And then we just put the data in there and flip it. That all looks fine too. And I'm inclined to think that it's uploading it mostly correctly because we're getting a square, which is what we should get we're just not getting the colors. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna check for is I'm just gonna check and make sure that it is the data we're expecting. So I'm just gonna hit a breakpoint in here. Then I'm gonna go down here and this should launch us into debug mode, I believe, maybe not. I might have to click here. Okay, I'm just gonna go up here and hit debug main. So this should launch us into debug mode and then we should hit this breakpoint. Okay, so we hit the breakpoint. Now if I go into here, we should see that the vertex buffer should look exactly like this. So if I just open up the vertex buffer um, and then we try and find out where all that data actually is. So it's kind of hard to find it inside of that vertex buffer exactly. So I'm going to hit the plus icon. This allows me to sort of write some pseudo code almost. And so I'm just going to write vertex buffer dot or not this dot vertex buffer, but vertex buffer dot. And then I want to get the data. So let's say get and we'll say zero. So we'll just sort of do it one by one. So if we get zero, that's 0 0.5. Then if we just plus again, vertex buffer dot get one, I'm just gonna copy that. That's minus 0 0.5, that looks right. If we get two, we should get 0, 0.0, that's right. So it's following this pattern. So I don't think there's any problems with this. 1.0, okay. So this data is fine. I'm just gonna delete these now. So there's no problem there. And we're stopped right here. Let's go down to, we enable the attribute array. So this is the next thing I'm gonna check is because this is when we're actually uploading it. So we say, bind the vertex array, we enable the attribute array. Let's check the element buffer too and make sure the element buffer is good. So we have the element buffer here. Let's hit plus 
I'm just going to make sure that we haven't. Okay, so we have put stuff into the element buffer. So let's see if this works. We'll say element buffer dot get zero. So that says two. That looks right. And then element buffer dot get one. This should probably be one. Yeah. Okay. So this is working fine too. So all the data is correct. There's nothing wrong there. So it must be some other problem. Let's hit a breakpoint down here because this is the next place that I would check. This is where we're actually drawing the elements. The data looks fine. The shader is fine. So now I'm going to check down here where we're actually drawing the data. Then I'm just going to hit continue, which is this button over here. So now we're stopped at this point. Uh, let's see what element array dot length is. If we control over this, nope. Uh, this is six. Okay, so that means we have six. That's two triangles. That sounds right. Uh, we're saying the offset is zero. This is an unsigned int. We're saying draw it with triangles. That all looks okay too. VAO ID is one. That looks about right. And this is the point where I am completely stumped. And I usually end up here when looking at my own code too. So there's got to be something that we are missing. And it's probably something small. Let's check a couple other common things that I've run into in the past. So we have enable vertex attrib array. Okay, so we have gl vertex attrib pointer. That is the correct function call because sometimes I've done it where I have the wrong function call. Then we say enable vertex attrib array one. That sounds right. Let me just double check though. So I'm just going to Google vertex attrib array open gl and then this should get me the reference pages so then I can look into here. Just make sure we're doing this all exactly correctly. So it says specifies the name of the vertex array object and it just enables it. Okay, so that looks right. Okay, so let's go back to the shader because this does all look correct. And if we go back into the actual shader code, I'm wondering, okay, so this says in vec4 calls it a color. Okay, so that's fine. So are we actually uploading the data correctly to the shader? which we should be because if we go back into the level editor scene, then we're uploading that to the vertex attribute one. And if we look here, this says index one, I'm just gonna replace these with manual numbers that will just make it easier for me. So I'm gonna say that's four. We have seven total because we have three for position and do we have three for position? Okay, we do have three for position <laughs> and we have four for the color then I'm just going to say that the offset is three times uh, float dot bytes. Uh, pointer zero here is fine. We're going to say this is seven and this might actually have to be times float dot bytes. So I'm going to do that times float dot bytes. Just put all these in manually just so that we know. And I'm going to say this is three. Now let's see what happens if we run this. Okay, it's working. <laughs> So something went wrong here. Let's see what was going wrong here. I was not expecting that to fix it, honestly. Okay, so we see here we have zero. This should be size three. So if we put in position size, that's fine. If we run it again, that shouldn't break it. Yep, that's fine. Then we have seven times float dot bytes. That's position size, which is three plus color size, which is four. Yep, that should be fine. So if we remake this to vertex size, bytes that should not change it okay so that does not change it then we get to the color so if we change this to color size that should be fine too because that's literally just replacing with four that is still fine then if we change this to vertex size bytes that should once again be fine because we're not changing anything bad here okay so the problem must have been this last piece which is the offset uh, and I see what happened here I believe, okay, so I just undid a bunch and this looks right too. Oh, no, okay, so position size times vertex size bytes. So this was the original problem. I just did undid a bunch and this shouldn't be times vertex size bytes. This should be times float dot bytes. And so this is where the problem came up. And so what was happening was the offset was way off. And so what ended up happening is the GPU actually had the offset as some number uh, way down here, which wasn't even in our array. So that was most likely just garbage data, which was just a bunch of zeros. And so then it was taking a bunch of zeros, which made our image black instead of the color it should have been. So then if we actually redo this with that times the appropriate number, 
There we go. It's fixed. So this line was the offender. Now, I wanted to do this to show you guys how I go about debugging something. Okay, I start from exactly where the problem is. We knew exactly where the problem was because I went into here and when I changed this to VEC4, uh, 1010, or actually 1, and I reran this, it's pink. Okay, so we know it's not the shader. And so once I figured out that it wasn't the shader, I went to the next problem, which is, okay, let's follow this variable because clearly the problem is something inside of this variable. And then that eventually led us to the level editor scene inside of this document right here. And somewhere inside of this file, we knew there was a problem. And I was guessing it was probably right here just because everything else seemed right. The data was all right and everything. And so the reason I started replacing these with actual numbers is because I've done that before and it's fixed it because it's very hard to see when you make a mistake like this because it looks all 100% correct, but really there's one small problem and this problem can throw it all off and you'll have no idea why it's not working the way it is. So thankfully it was pretty easy to solve for too because this was garbage after these. Sometimes it may even look right because you might have some data that's garbage, but that actually looks the same as this. I've had that happen before too. And so you think it's working properly and then you get a problem way later on down the road and it's even harder to solve for. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helps you solve some of your own bugs. Um, let me know if my process and hearing what I go through and seeing what I go through. Uh, literally, I had not looked at this code before, so this was all my first take on it. Let me know if that helps you guys out. All right. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.